Hello and welcome to a video for Avancies showing how to install the Wolfenstein 3D total conversion and play it through Steam. Basically, um, I'm going to install Wolfenstein 3D. It's going to be completely new and fresh installation. And we're also going to get GZ Doom and the newest consolidated Wolfenstein 3D TC. These two links will be in the description stuff. Alright, so Wolfenstein 3D is almost done installing. And basically, when you put everything that you downloaded earlier in here, you're going to get this. This is GZ Doom. And this is the Wolfenstein 3D TC. The normal way you'd play it is by clicking this. And that loads everything up for you. But, I want to play it through Steam, and have Steam track my in-game time, and have people know that I'm playing Wolfenstein 3D. So what I'm going to do is, now that this is done downloading, I'm going to click Properties. Close that out, hold on. Now, I'm going to get click Properties, and then click Browse Local Files. So now you're going to find this. This is um, basically where you want to go. You want to click on Base. And then... You want to go back to this folder, drag GZ Doom in there. So now you have everything GZ Doom. Now you want to delete DOSBox.exe and rename GZ Doom to DOSBox.exe. So now that will trick Steam into uh, thinking that this is DOSBox, but it's actually GZ Doom. Then, you want to go to the Wolfenstein 3D TC. You want to grab Wolf 3D underscore common and Wolf 3D underscore PK3 or resources. These uh, two files are what you're going to need. Then, you want to go into your INI file, go down to Doom2.autoload path equals Wolf 3D common dot pk7 path equals wolf 3d resources dot pk3 these are pk7 and pk3 they're two different ones make sure you memorize that alright so now I'm gonna click DOS box and now the TC loads just get out of full screen real quick. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, so now the TC loads. But now, you want to click Wolfenstein 3D on Steam. Click play. Make sure you don't ask me again. That way you don't get that dialog box every time. And now you're playing it on Steam. You're being tracked for in-game time, as you can see, in-game Wolfenstein 3D. Your friends know that you're playing it. And you can play it and have fun <laughs> with uh, timer tracking and all that. It's kind of arbitrary if you want to do this, but it's pretty easy to figure out. So there you go.